Hello, I'm Kenneth Copeland. Every believer has a voice, and it's the voice of victory. My God has made the way for me. Hello, George. Hello, Gloria. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. I'm so glad to be with you on the broadcast here. I'm looking forward to some good word. I am too. I am too. You know, when I, when we do these broadcasts together and I'm getting ready for them, um, I always think about you coming and being here. Now, I put the notes together for this, but I get the notes from what you've taught before. But I'm always interested in what you're going to say. Me too. Because you never know what <laughs> Gloria never know. is going to say. <laughs> And, and I am so honored to be able to be with you. Gloria, wow. this... We've done a lot. We have. We? As a matter of fact, we have... Today is our 371st day of Prosperity Broadcast. Wow. We started 10 years ago. So we've got more than one a day. We've got more than one a day. Praise we God. We sure Isn't do. That great? Yeah. And we, uh, we also, you know, we've downloaded... We could do a Bible school and you and I could retire and we could <laughs> send out, uh, you know. Yeah, we could just <laughs> let it repeat over day. and over and over. Mm -hmm. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word That's of God, right. doesn't That's it? That's right. So uh, also, Gloria, all of the notes that we've done ever since we began 10 years ago, all of the notes that we have done, we've made them available online. You can you get them if you go to uh, kcm.org and then go to the picture of Glory and Me, click onto it, and you'll be able to access the notes, not only that we're doing on this broadcast, but also all of the other notes Praise that God. we've done, 371 days worth of prosperity. Awesome. But listen to this. I checked on this the other day and found out that we have had over 1.5 million downloads of the notes that George. we have taught on the broadcast. Isn't that something? Isn't that exciting? 1.5 million. 1.5 million. So I would say that people are interested in prospering. That is awesome. Well, I know I am. Uh, me too. And I was me really too. interested of some years ago. You sure were, <laughs> I was, boy. I was desperately interested. Desperately interested. <laughs> and I'm so glad that you and Kenneth received the uh, mandate from the Lord to teach about the laws that Praise govern God. prosperity. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've been doing on these broadcasts for, for 10 years now. I'd is, love to have some testimonies. Well, here, here, look, I have okay. a couple of oh, them good. right you here. Let me read to, to you. Okay. Let me read to you. This one is from Caroline. She's from Michigan. She said that she watches Pastor George and Gloria and puts her faith out, and she is now debt free and has Praise cash to God. purchase a home. Cash, cash to, purchase to purchase a, a home. home. See, there it works. Say that three times. <laughs> cash to, to purchase a home. That's super. Now this one, and I'm going to read some every day this week because okay, I've good. got some oh, great, like great that. testimonies. Oh, I like that. That'll be fun. Um, and I've got one. I'm going to read it to you on Friday, but let me give you a little hint of what it is. It's a couple that they were they were going down financially. They owed the IRS. They the bills were piled up. They were in the midst of a divorce. And the day the mm. divorce went through, they started dating each other. <laughs> and they started listening to Were tapes. they celebrating or With, I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> <laughs> they were celebrating their divorce, but they started, they started dating each other. And they, they went to a convention. They started watching the broadcast. Praise and Gloria, God. when I read this testimony, they are prosperous, 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 and they are still together, thriving. Praise God. They never got the and divorce. It sounds like they're growing they spiritually. They are growing. Here's another one. This is from Barbara Conroe, Texas. And she says, thank you, Pastor George and Sister Gloria for the message on calling forth the harvest. Now, this is interesting, Gloria, because in this testimony, she goes through, really, she does a synopsis of what we taught. And it's so good. Listen to what Praise she said. God. This is what she learned. Okay. I've been listening to it from CDs that I ordered and now have a better understanding of the spiritual connection to it. The scriptures that confirm calling for it, that the harvest must be reaped and the planter must stand in faith to receive it and that we must speak it because the scripture that says the sickle that the reaper uses is his mouth. So we must speak it. That's I right. now understand that reaping is an act of faith. We can't just wait for our harvest after planting the seed. We must water it with the word That's and then right. we must That's reap good. it. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> she's, uh, with all that said, she said, 
<clears throat> God has already this year brought forth an abundant harvest at least four different times in areas we were not expecting oh, to the God. tune of over $50,000. Wow. Praise God. George, that's awesome. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> that's goosebumps <clears throat> stuff. So Good. that's goosebumps stuff. Yeah, exactly. Hallelujah. So we'll be reading more of these as we go along, Gloria, in the, the week that we have together. But this week... We're going to be talking about a subject that the Lord just dropped down into my heart about the fact that He is a God of plenty. I like it. He's not cheap. No. He doesn't withhold. He's not broke either. He's not broke. <laughs> Heaven isn't suffering. But according to His riches and glory, He will supply everything Amen. that we need. He's proven that. Over and over yeah. again. He is a God of plenty. And I think back on all of the the things that we've experienced here in the ministry, of course, you and Kenneth started back in 1967 at, with Kenneth Copeland. Actually, it was the Kenneth Copeland Evangelistic Association back then. Yeah. And then I came along to work here in 1976. So the ministry was nine when I first started. Nine years old. Now we're well over 50 years going in the ministry. So are we, George. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed we are. <laughs> and thank you for reminding me of that. That's, but you know something? Our youth is renewed like the That's Eagles, right. isn't it? Absolutely. We're, we're, still, we're still going strong. But I've watched over the years the faithfulness of God in the ministry. Yes, I know. We've, we've hit some highs and lows. We've, I've been around when we've had a few deficits here and there. A few? There was the big one, the $6 the million dollar deficit. Whoa, yes. Whoa, that Wendy. was... You and I went through that one together. Yeah, we, um, we survived. We did survive that one, but the Lord was faithful. And I just, he, he just keeps reminding me that he is the God of plenty. He is the God of plenty. There is no shortage in heaven. There is no lack there. It's a full supply. Here's something to think about. Yeah, tell me. You are talking God into doing something. He's waiting on us to do something, to yep. give him something to work with That's right. so he can bring in harvest. Well said. It's still that way too. That's exactly that way. Glory he's, to God. He, we, when, when you're ready, he's ready. When you're ready, he's, he's ready. Already, when you're ready, he's already ready. He's already ready? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's so true. That's that true. is so true. Yeah. Well, Thank he God. is, and he's a God of abundance Mm -hmm. He's a God of provision. That's He's right. a God of supply and whatever it is that you need. Gloria and I are standing in agreement with yes. you right now that we serve a God of plenty. Amen. Whatever bills that are outstanding, whatever debts that are there, and you know, and I know both of us are aware of how God can get us out of debt. Yeah. You and Kenneth, oh, yeah. back in the early years, Terry and I, some years ago, and we are, we're living debt free. We live in a beautiful home, a debt-free home. Debt-free home. And to this day, sometimes on Saturdays when I'm preparing to preach on Sunday, I walk through the house and I just thank God and I look at this debt-free home and how good He is. He is a God of Amen. plenty. Praise God. And Gloria, that's what we're going to be talking about good, this George. week. George. So let's take a look. First of all, this foundation scripture is Deuteronomy 28, 11. And it says... The Lord shall make thee plenteous in goods. Now, Deuteronomy 28 is a, a tremendous scripture to read and to study. Yeah. I would highly recommend that you go even today and look at Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 through 14. And you'll see that we've been, first of all, redeemed from the curse of the law mm -hmm. so that we can walk in the blessing of Abraham. That's right. And this scripture, I'll tell you why this scripture is... Now, you notice that's just not... There's nothing there that talks about barely making it by. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's so true. It's an abundant harvest. It is an, an abund abundant scripture. It it's is an, an abundant, abundant way of life. That's exactly how we live, is, is in abundant way You know, it's kind of... We, we, we didn't necessarily enjoy it at the time, mm -hmm. but now I enjoy looking back at when... We had nothing yeah. and it worked for it everything. Did. It did. You really paved the way. You put the Word of God to work. And it worked. And it worked. And we had, we lacked for nothing. <clears throat> you and Kenneth, as I understand the story, you, you, you put down the newspaper, you turned off the TV, you, you focused, you totally focused on the Word of God, God. to get you out of the place that you were in at that yeah, time, yeah. 
debt, um, debts that you didn't know you had when you got married. <laughs> he never told me how much money he owed. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't. And I was reveal. so smitten. I probably would have <laughs> married him anyway because I didn't know any better. You know where I came from. My family they had already always operated on debt. Yeah. He didn't think about paying cash for a house or a car. <laughs> yeah. Payments. Yeah. It was payments. It was payments. It was all about payments. <laughs> and oh, you, your, wow. your mind had to be renewed to didn't the word. It didn't take me long, though. I caught on really quick. Yeah, you caught on quickly, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. So this Deuteronomy 28, it, it really it's is a great scripture. It's, it is, it a, is a great scripture. All, all of it is so good. Uh, I'm looking here. Preach to me, George. De 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 well, Deuteronomy 28, 1, if you, if, if it'll come to pass, if you'll hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do his commandments, which I command thee this day, the Lord will set you on high above all nations of the earth. And in verse two, it says, and all these blessings shall come on you and yes, overtake you. Amen. So that's just the first two verses of Praise Deuteronomy God. 28. But as awesome. we started reading a moment ago in verse 11, in, in point A there, the Lord will make you plenteous in goods. Now, Gloria, I looked up some of these words. And the word you'll see in point one there, A, plenteous, just simply the word plenteous. What does that mean? More and in the Hebrew, it, it means to exceed, mm -hmm. to have excess, to have more than enough. Yeah. That's what right. plenteous means. And when we talk about our God being a God of plenty, when, when you say the word plenty, what that really is saying to us, Gloria, is it's a more than an adequate supply, more than adequate. Nothing lacking. Nothing lacking, no. Nothing lacking anywhere. Praise God. It is a, a more That's than a an adequate supply. That's a heavenly concept. It's a heavenly concept. That's the way heaven is, nothing lacking. Yeah, and he... You know, don't you think it's over the top to have gold streets? I, I think it's just extreme. But that's extreme. just a common thing in it's, heaven. It is. It is, and you've talked about I that I assume before. your driveway will be gold, too. If I assume crazy. that it will be so much nicer it than the driveway be, I have right now. It just now. wouldn't look right to have a gold street and a gravel driveway, would no, it? No, it just wouldn't. Yeah, it I wouldn't. Got you. Okay. No, and he is a God of excellence, and he oh. is, he's wanting us to experience on earth what they experience in heaven. That's right. They've got gold streets there. They do. They do. And the scripture plainly tells us God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. I like it. I like it. And I love the way the Lord wants each and every one of us to live in the Garden of Eden here on earth, to live in that same yes. atmosphere where everything is, is supplied, right. everything is, is provided. But you do, you have to renew your mind to this way of thinking. And well, that, you can't get faith without renewing your mind. No, you can't. So if you're no. going to, if you're going to live on the on the plenty side, on the abundant mm. side, you're going to have to do it by faith. I like what you just said. Live on the plenty side. Yeah. Live on the plenty and, side. Uh, Live on the abundant side. I have side. tried it both ways, and abundance is better than lack. It really is. <laughs> Much it really better. is. Much better. And you know something, Gloria? It is the will of God for us. Sure it is. To have a surplus, a surplus of supply. As a matter of fact, look here at point four, the amplified translation of the Lord will make you plenteous in goods. Mm -hmm. It said, the Lord shall make you have a surplus, surplus. of, of I prosperity. Like that. Yeah. <clears throat> so I what like is, that. what is a surplus? More it's extra. More than enough. Yeah, it's more. It's more. It's having every need filled, every Needs supply, surplus of a surplus of prosperity, and that is one of my, one of my favorite scriptures, Gloria, uh, out of about a thousand or more <laughs> scriptures yeah. that are my favorites. But to to see this one, the Lord shall make you have a surplus of prosperity, and that's what we believe for here in the ministry, that we would have not not just enough, yeah, but we would have more than enough. A supply that well, we, you know, we uh, we committed to do what we saw in the Word. Right. The Word <laughs> doesn't teach us to borrow money, so exactly. we didn't borrow money. Exactly. Don't borrow money till today. 
So you have to have a surplus to pay cash. You really do. Did you ever notice that? You do. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You, yep. you can't just get two 20s out of your billfold yep. and pay cash for a car. That's right. And it took but a while. But you can do you it. You can do it. You know, it took a while for you and Kenneth to, to get to your debt-free house. Yeah, it, it The same thing with Terry and me. The journey that the Lord took us on, it looked impossible, but you know what? Our God is a God right. of the impossibility. All things are possible. All things are to possible him to Him that believes. That's and, right. and so you were talking a moment ago about thinking back on the journey that you were on and, and how the Lord helped you through all that. I think about the same thing. Yeah. And I think about how the Lord helped Terry it and me. It was so supernatural. And we, we applied the Word. The great thing though, by the time we were digging into this, Kenneth had already written The Laws of Prosperity. You had already written God's Will is Prosperity. So we had a, had a head start. Well, that's good. You wrote the book. We got it. We read it. <laughs> and so we learned from you it. You believed it. And you, you have really taught us that we do serve a God of plenty and the Lord will make you have a surplus of prosperity. It was so supernatural and, to And then this verse, this scripture here, this MEV translation, which I'm trying to think, what is the MEV translation? Message. The, no, it's the, the uh, modern English version. That's, that's what it, it. is. You modern it. English version says, the Lord will make you overflow with prosperity. That is a super word. Isn't that a good one? Oh, I got to have a highlighter here. Yep, Somebody highlighter. bring me a highlighter we, we to the rescue. We get you a highlighter. <laughs> the, uh, the overflow is, now what the Lord yeah, will Yeah, the have, Lord will make you, make you have, that, have an overflow in that will make you overflow in prosperity. Isn't that good? That's so the truth. I receive that. As a matter of fact, right now, if I were you, I would receive that scripture. Amen. Say this after me. And Gloria, if you'd repeat this after me. I say, will. In the name of Jesus. In the name of, and also, let me just add this. Yes. Be, be fearless in Ooh. Your, what you say now. Ooh, Go ahead. Fearless. Okay. Fearless. Um, According to Deuteronomy 28, 11. According to Deuteronomy 28, 11. The Lord makes us plenteous. The Lord makes us plenteous. In goods. In goods. He gives us. He gives us. A surplus of prosperity. A surplus of prosperity. He makes us overflow in he prosperity. Makes us overflow. He more is, than enough. More than enough. He is a God of plenty. He is a God of plenty. Isn't that marvelous? We should have figured that out. I mean, <laughs> who makes gold driveways <laughs> and gold it's, streets? It's, and God Can does. you imagine, Gloria, think about it for just a moment, what heaven must be like and the mansions that we'll live in. You think about those mansions mm -hmm. and how, I mean, there's some beautiful homes, but I really do think that what we will see in heaven oh, it's gonna will outdo awesome. anything that we've ever awesome. seen. Think about mm. that. Think about heaven and then remember that there's no sickness there. Oh, Gloria, there's that's no true. There's no toil there. That's so there's true. There's no sadness there. That's right. There's no death that's there. That's right. That's right. Wow. What a place to live, What a place George. to live. Now, Lord. take a look at this. Look at point B. Okay. And this is a word from the Lord through Brother Copeland. He gave it in November 10th of 2011. Listen to this. The Lord says, I have a great storehouse. Much more has been stored up in the uh, storehouse of riches beyond your wildest yeah. dream that I've laid up for you before Praise the foundation God. of the world. Much more is stored up there than what the church has ever called for. Hmm. I have never held back on the church, saith the Lord and the God of plenty. That's right. I've made it available to you. I put it in my word. I gave you promise and stood behind it with the blood, Praise the God. precious blood of your Savior. But there has been a backwardness in my people about laying hold of the things that I've provided. I know for. that is absolutely true. <clears throat> it is true. But I will say this, there is a people in the land. There is a people around the world. There is a people strong and mighty and growing much stronger and much mightier and more bold to lay hold and put their claim of faith on the things that I've laid up for them. And it thrills me, saith the Lord, because it's been theirs all the time. Praise God. Isn't that a wonderful Praise word? Yes, amen. He said it's in this so word exciting. that there, there's a, there are a people who are strong and mighty. Now that's us. That's us. People who are strong and mighty 
in the Word of God. Growing stronger and much mightier and more bold to lay hold. I like that phrase. That's right. More bold to lay hold and put their claim of faith on the things that I've laid up for them. So here's another word. If you'd read that in number two, mm -hmm. read that word from the Lord. All of you who will take my word and stand on it, saith the Lord, the kingdom is for you. The angels are for you. And all of heaven's resources, no, all of heaven's reserves, yeah. reserves are at your call. Isn't that something? All of heaven's, all of reserves, heaven's reserves are at your call. At our call. Well, yeah. George, we've walked it out for how many years? 20, well, 40 years, oh, now 50 it's years. 50, over 50 <laughs> years. That we're still walking Yes, big, we are. My goodness. We are, and we're learning more and more yeah. about it every day. That's right. About the goodness of God. And it has not failed to work. It has not failed. This it, is the word of Another God. word from the Lord. This is August 7th, 2009 through Brother Copeland. This is point three. Heaven is overloaded with things that I prepared for your enjoyment. I believe that. I paid for it. Come and get it. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> this it's, is a feast of abundance. Oh, hallelujah. Isn't that true? It is true. And, it, and we can start it yeah. here. We don't have to wait till we yeah. go to heaven. It's ours. It's, it's ours got now. our name on it. We call for it. We yes, believe amen. it. We receive it. And number four, look at this glory. This is a scripture. I've been reading from the Passion Translation. I really enjoy it. And in Ephesians 1.22 of the Passion Translation, it says, He alone is the leader and the source of everything needed in the church. Boy, that's a wonderful Isn't that scripture. a powerful scripture? Ooh. He alone is the leader and the source mm -hmm. of everything needed in the church. That's Ephesians 1, 22, the Passion Translation. Pastors, you should use that as a scripture to stand on for whatever you need in your church. Boy. Whether it's paying off buildings or paying off debts or whatever it is. He is the source of everything needed in the church. Think about <clears throat> what a congregation would be like. Oh. If the pastor oh. had this huge revelation of abundance yes. that's in the Bible, yes, and yep. every time he got in the pulpit, he passed that revelation on. There'd wow. be no, there'd be no end there of it. No there'd end be, of it. It, no. would, it would be all things are possible that's to right. him that believeth. That's right. I can see that happening. Oh my goodness! Praise God. Gloria, I'll end it with this: The God of plenty has enough in his storehouse right. to supply every need we would ever have with much Isn't leftover. Isn't that good? Much, it won't even put a strain in his budget. <laughs> much <laughs> leftover, hallelujah, glory oh, to God. Oh my goodness, what Thank a week you, we're Jesus. gonna have here, Thank Gloria. You, Jesus. Won't put a strain in his nah. budget. So stay with us, Lori and I will be right we'll back. We'll be back. You have a free resource to help you study and apply the Bible-based truths you just heard. Download the BVOV broadcast study notes today at kcm.org.uk slash notes. Collect the notes from each week and use them in a group Bible study. Use the message outline to teach from. Discuss the scriptures and key points with your family of believers. Gain understanding from all the teachings on the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. Get the whole week of notes today at kcm.org.uk slash notes. Discover what the Bible has to say about prosperity. Prospering in God is to have abundant provision for every area of life, spiritual, physical, mental, and financial, so that you can be a blessing to others. Over 50 years ago, Kenneth and Gloria Copeland began to see throughout their Bible that it was God's will for them to be blessed, and they want to share with you what brought them out of a life of lack and debt and into one of fullness. They have assembled this book, Prosperity Promises, for you to renew your mind and increase your understanding. In Prosperity Promises are the Copeland's own lessons from their experiences, as well as the same scriptures that turn their lives around. Each scripture is written in four different translations to help you understand the full meaning of each. Allow God's Word to increase your faith and develop confidence in His willingness to meet every need and fulfill every desire of your heart. It is God's will for you to be blessed and prosper. Discover all the Bible has to say about your prosperity in Prosperity Promises, a book by Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. Request your free copy at kcm.org.uk forward slash TV special or when you call 01225 787 310. 
This free offer is good for 30 days. Postage charges may apply. Contact your regional office for more information. You don't have to talk God into prosperity. God's will is prosperity. His desire is for you to thrive and be successful. He, that's why he bore the curse for you. That's why Jesus bore the curse so that that's you right. could thrive, so that's that right. you could be healed, so that you could be blessed. He wants you to enjoy his abundant provision. And Pastor George is going to share with you about some things oh. that will help you. I, I'm going to get into so this good. all over again, George. This is so good, Gloria. I am so excited about what we're offering. It's, it's absolutely free. Yeah, yeah. But this is called Prosperity Promises by Kenneth and Gloria Copeland. And what they do, they have chapters in here. And, and each chapter has uh, some text that you've written about an area of prosperity. And then they give four, script, four uh, scriptures and then they give four translations of the scriptures. So let me give you an example. We were just talking about this a moment ago. And I read Psalm 23, 1, and in the King James, it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. But then you give the Amplified. The Lord is my shepherd to feed, guide, and shield me, I shall not lack. Here's the Moffat translation. The eternal shepherds me, I lack for nothing. Boy, that's good. And the NIV says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. I so know. you can read about prosperity, and then all of these scriptures, these are so good, Gloria. I'm so excited about this book, and I'm like you. I, I'm going to go back and read through this oh, again, yeah. and oh, it yeah. wouldn't surprise me if you if you hear Gloria and I preaching from this book. Absolutely. <laughs> Coming to you soon. Think about it. Some prosperity messages. So Ooh. this is marvelous. It is. This is it is. I'm excited about it. And it's absolutely free. We're sowing it Praise to the people. God. Gloria, what a day we've had. I know. What a time we've had. Uh, it's great. So we're going to be coming back tomorrow. We're going to talk about how God wants to fill us with plenty. So this is Pastor George and Gloria Copeland saying to you, Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us today on the Believer's Voice of Victory. Go to kcm.org.uk to receive free faith-based teaching resources, such as a digital download of today's Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. You can download it straight to your computer or mobile. Continue to grow in your faith in God and live in the wisdom of His Word. Believe God to bring new visions, His manifested power, and great change in your life. Wherever you are in the world, it's easier than ever before to connect with Kenneth Copeland Ministries and enjoy all of our online media, including content exclusive to our website. Visit us at kcm.org and gain access to over 50 years of Bible teaching from Kenneth and Gloria Copeland right at your fingertips. Watch live streaming video of the Believer's Voice of Victory Sunday and daily broadcasts. Enjoy live programs from the Victory Channel and experience special events on demand. Browse through hours of archived audio and video teaching and immerse yourself in the Word through the online devotional From Faith to Faith. Download the latest BBOV magazine, including our enhanced interactive version. This free monthly publication is filled with powerful tools for spiritual growth, articles by ministry leaders, testimonies from partners, and much more. Watch the broadcast, read the magazine, designed, listen to me, to be a study center.